My name's Elaine Betts of GoFar Consulting, and today I want to talk to you about the myth of low-hanging fruit. It occurred to me when I was watching the squirrels in the garden. I have a pyracantha tree here, you can sit behind me, and look at all of the low-hanging fruit just here. All the berries, they look fantastic, and you can actually reach them from the fence behind. While I was sat in the garden watching the squirrels, I wondered why on earth they weren't touching the low-hanging fruit. They were climbing up to the very top, and now you can see that almost all the berries have gone from up the top there. They keep going up there, climbing, struggling, working their way through the branches, hanging from the edge of the branches, just to get to that fruit there. So my thought was, in business, you've got low-hanging fruit. Go for the low-hanging fruit. That's what we're always told in marketing, right? Well, why were the squirrels not going for the low-hanging fruit? The thing is, the low-hanging fruit isn't always ripe. The sun hits the top of the tree, the sun hits there. Those are the ripe berries. They're the ones that are ready. So sometimes in business, the low-hanging fruit actually isn't that that's the easiest to get. It's that that you have to work hard to get at. They're the people, they're the clients and customers that need help and are ready to work with you. They're the ripe berries. They're the ripe fruit, the ripe clients. So think about your business and what it is that you're trying to achieve. And when you think of the term low-hanging fruit, it doesn't mean to say it's going to be easy to get at. My name's Elaine Betts of GoFar Consulting.